Hi, this is John from One Hour Academy, and today we're going to show you how to connect a jQuery library to your web page so that it can take advantage of the power of jQuery. So I'm starting here in Aptana Studio with a basic web page. You can start in any program you want to that makes web pages as long as you've got your initial eight minimum opening HTML tags and we're ready to go. So um, I'm going to go over to Google now and I'm going to search for an online place that hosts jQuery. So the proper way to search for that is to type in jQuery CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. And so when we type this in, it's going to take us to places that host it. jQuery.com itself is the place I go to to get my hosting. And under the minified version, you can see that we have the entire language right here uh, in the browser. Now we don't really need to concern ourselves with making any sense of this as long as we can get a reference to this uh, location and paste this into our website, we can then take advantage of all the functions that are part of the jQuery language. So here I am uh, copying the URL and I'm going to go back to my web page and just below the title we're going to create a script source uh, HTML tag and this connects us to the online library that's hosted at jQuery.com. So we just paste it right in there and so now that we've got that in there we can start using jQuery right away. So we're going to go below that and write a separate script section, which is where we write our own jQuery code. And typically you write this in the head section of your document, so script and slash script. And we're going to test jQuery the usual way, which in my opinion is the harder way. So I'm just going to pause this for a minute and talk about what we're doing here. So whenever we want to use a jQuery function, dollar sign means jQuery. So this is asking jQuery to do something, or in this case to talk to something on our web page. So the document refers to our entire document. And so a lot of times people will start jQuery by going dollar sign document to address the entire web page. Now typically what you do is you add, add to that dot ready, which means we're saying when the document is ready, we want to do something. Now the thing we want to do has to be spelt out inside the brackets of ready. So just to recap, jQuery, when the document is ready, I want you to run some code. And typically in JavaScript and in jQuery, the code that gets run is grouped into these things called functions. So the command I'm going to put in here is going to be wrapped inside of a function, which is wrapped inside these ready brackets here. And this is what makes jQuery kind of a difficult starting language. If you've never programmed before, this is really cryptic. And I didn't like the way that it was done, and a lot of websites do it this way, but I found a much easier way to do this. So let me just finish this off. I'm going to go inside ready. I'm going to add another thing called a function. Now functions themselves also have opening and closing brackets and then they have these braces. So see how I put these two brackets here and then I put a brace and a brace. So now I've got an area where I can actually type a command and this is going to be an actual JavaScript command that jQuery is going to execute for me when the document loads. Okay, so I'm just simply going to put an alert statement in here. So I'm going to go alert and I'm just going to say hello from jQuery or something along those lines. And, uh, or welcome to jQuery, and semicolon at the end of this line. So when I go ahead and save this, and I run this through Aptana, it's going to run it uh, in Firefox automatically. And you're going to see a message box pop up right when the page loads. And so here we go, and there's my message box coming up. So jQuery caused that to happen when the document loaded. Okay, but if we go back to our code for a second, um, you can see again how it's kind of awkward the way this is written. So I'm going to uh, have jQuery ignore this code by putting these uh, this slash star and star slash to just kind of block this code out so it doesn't run anymore. And uh, that way we can keep it there on our screen, but we uh, won't run it. And this way we can see the code and compare it to what we're going to type. So this time around I'm going to do it a little bit easier. Um, there's a shortcut to document ready, which is simply just dollar sign and then inside there you can put the function you want to run. Okay, so document ready, dollar sign, bracket, bracket, mean the same thing. So this time around, instead of writing a function inside here, I'm going to type startup. And what jQuery is going to do is go look for a separate function called startup, which is going to have my alert command in it. Okay, so you can see that here. Um, I'm going to go function startup, and I'm going to call my function startup to match up with what is inside the dollar sign startup. Okay, and then like all functions, we put a brace and another brace to close it off. And then my alert goes right inside of here. Okay, so this is a little bit of a 
different way of doing it, but this is the way I prefer to do it. Rather than having what's called an anonymous function, we give our function a name and we're going to put it right inside the jQuery document ready by just simply going shortcut like that. Okay, so that's basically it. I'm going to save this and run it one more time just to make sure that it works like the other way. So I push play and sure enough, welcome the easy way. Okay, so here's the code one more time and you can compare the two versions. And moving forward, I prefer doing it this way because it, to me it makes a lot more sense. In the next video, we're going to look at some more things we can do with jQuery. Thanks for watching.